Hello and welcome to Adikmi's YouTube channel and editorial discussion for 26th April 2022. My name is Harsh Singh and in this video we shall discuss an editorial from Indian Express which is titled Poverty and Politics of Freebies. The editorial speaks about huge level of government subsidies which are given to provide for free food under public distribution system for 80 crore people and what is the necessity of it. If you like this initiative, share some love through likes, shares and subscribes. Let's discuss. The editorial says that around the world, an amount of $1.9 per capita per day has been fixed as the extreme poverty line, below which if consumption happens, the people are extremely poor. And thankfully, the number of extremely poor have declined in India, according to World Bank report, according to IMF report and also according to Niti Aayog. World Bank says that there are only 10.2% of country population in 2019 who are extremely poor according to this data. Similarly, uh, IMF paper also says that the number of extremely poor are less than 1% even during times of the pandemic. So this is a good sign for the country. The images uh, show the right thing here uh, that the poverty levels are declining according to World Bank estimates also. So therefore they say that let's uh, increase the benchmark standards to $3.2 per uh, purchasing power parity so that the new benchmarks are laid and new benchmarks for what what is the number of uh, persons below poverty line and then government will have uh, good targets to achieve again so all right that's great niti ayog also says that um, uh, the multi-dimensional poverty index according to this 25 percent persons uh, in the country are poor in 2015 and now it is only destined to decline they say the editorial says that yes, the poverty estimates may be 1%, 10 or 25%. However, what is the need of giving free food to 80 crore people during the times when the pandemic has almost uh, uh, recited? It has gone down. See, the uh, present number of people who are receiving almost uh, uh, all food free, uh, free food grains are 80 crore in the country. Out of around 130 crore people, 80 crore people are receiving free food grains and this is costing huge to the exchequer, the government um, storehouse of finances. The year just before the pandemic, the offtake, that means total consumed food grain under FCI for public distribution uh, supplies were 56 million ton and this increased to 87 almost uh, 30 million tons increase in both the years after the pandemic. So why do we have to extend this further when we see that the pandemic has only ebbed, it has gone down, it is causing huge fiscal deficit, public investment is going down, employment creation is not happening because of such kind of expenditure and you should know what kind of expenditure it is. We are expending almost 3 lakh crore per annum for giving food subsidy and we are not speaking of fertilizer subsidy and diesel subsidy including uh, other kind of input subsidy like water and electricity cost. This is just the cost of procurement of these items. Uh, millions and millions of tons of um, food cooperation of uh, India procurement of food grains, rice and wheat. Right. And we have had huge storages also. We are not using that storages. See, minimum mandate is uh, 21 million tons of buffer stock. But what we have after distribution, we have 77 million tons, almost 55 million ton plus uh, of uh, uh, stock is there. And this stock itself cost around 2 lakh crore rupees. Yes, 2 lakh crore rupees. And this is uh, and this subsidy that we see, this is almost in even more than 10% of net centers procurement centers uh, revenue that center uh, gets so if you remember 25 lakh crore is what center uh, is able to generate as revenue and 40 lakh crore is the is the total expenditure and this expenditure 3 lakh crore gets added here why are we saving so much when we do not need this quantity and now over and above this is rabi harvest season we are also going to increase our um, procurement right now as well so this dependence on procurement and uh, subsidy is not a good sign for the country and over and above we see leakages also NSSO data says 40% leakages in 2011 and now it is said to be around 30% right why should we not teach the people how to fish rather than giving the fish and for the extremely poor we must help them yes there has been a scheme running called as Antiyode Anyojana so extremely poor people must be helped must be helped with right for example if one is extremely poor 1% population or 10% population according to uh, the world bank and uh, imf estimates that's fine so according to them give those people 35 kilo of uh, uh, ration per household at very subsidized rates the same rates 3 kg of uh, uh, for rice and for 2 kg for wheat and for all the other below poverty line 
give them at give them supplies at 50 percent of procurement price and above poverty 90 percent of procurement price right now we are giving huge subsidies these prices three rupee two rupee these are the prices for almost 70 percent of india's population 70 percent and this is what is causing us to have huge procurements right distribution of around 90 million tons million metric tons to people and over and above we are storing huge amount so this is not required let it be a market system right let's identify those poor people extremely poor people and also try to give cash benefits rather than the food benefits directly give them cash benefits of equivalent proportion and make the prices equivalent to the market rate so there will be less pilferage less wastage less corruption and we can use uh, the money which has been saved in these kind of uh, schemes for agricultural sector growth see earlier india used to have these kind of schemes after nash national food security act got passed in 2013 more subsidy was uh, uh, given for uh, food procurement and now under prime minister's garib kalyan anna yojana we are giving further more subsidies and this is costing a huge to the government right so now we understand the issue of food subsidy and the cost associated small question to you mention three advantages and three issues with public distribution system of india advantages could be reaching out to huge population and uh, decrease in level of uh, the health and malnutrition issues and increase in uh, the human capacity uh, development right so uh, just put down three advantages and three issues and it will be a great exercise for the brain and if you like this initiative share some love through likes comments and shares and if you have questions down just put it down in the comment section and we will ensure to get back to you thank you for watching